Hello and welcome to all you dear Taurians. This is your monthly horoscope for October of 2020. Precise, concise, short videos. Let's have a look at what's happening in October. Three things that I might, I think is quite important. First of all, the Mercury retrograde. On the fifth, around and about the 15th of the month, Mercury goes backwards. Secondly, a very, and for you, you are a uh, Earth sign, a very beautiful Earth trine going on with Venus and the Jupiter-Pluto-Saturn conjunction. And then, of course, same old, same old. The Mars square, uh, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter. I've been talking about a long time, so I will be, but it, it's on, it's on. But let's, let's start with um, very important news. First of all, first of all, you're going to have your full moon at the very end on the 31st of the month. So in Taurus, the full moon in Taurus at 8 degrees. So people who are born who have Taurus planets around 8 degrees. So that would be if you uh, have an ascendant, the moon sign or the sun sign. If you have your sun sign there, you were born, uh, the late April born people, like from the 25th up until the 30th of April. If you're born then, you will feel this full moon. Um, so actually, the end of the month, it is like a culmination and more understanding of yourself and also your significant relationships, the, the one-to-one -one relationships that you're having. There is like this um, you're going to be, when on a relationship level, for instance, maybe you are single or maybe you are married or maybe you are uh, just together with someone, there's going to be some revelations there. Things have become very, very clear about your needs versus their needs. And um, that can be very positive, of course, and sometimes it's quite challenging as well. But what it is, is, is something becomes very, very clear, basically. And it's a lot about relationships um, during the month of October. And don't you like that, you Taurian people ruled by the planet Venus. Um, but on a communicative level. So very important time for you um, when you are in a relationship um, or, or even when you are single, there's definitely someone there that is catching your eye. And that has to do with an understanding of this of, of other people and indirectly an understanding of self because mercury will be in your opposite sign of um of, of uh, business partners but also uh, lovers uh, husbands wives and so on and mercury means communication when and it's in scorpio so this means true communication. This means uh, no fluffy, fluffy communication and, and talking about uh, the weather. No, these are deep conversations. And you will be having some deep conversations with particularly uh, probably one person that are quite deep and that have the potential of transformation. Now, this Mercury, going backwards in Scorpio, it's going to touch Uranus the planet of uh, insight three times. So um, around and about, and these dates are very important, around and about the 7th of October, then the 20th of October and the 18th of November, Mercury is gonna cross Uranus three times. And these are going to be round about those days, the days where you will get a lot of information, a lot of information coming to you from a specific person, a significant person in your life and it is it can be a bit challenging because it's information that you didn't expect and that can uh, come to the service so and that can be a surprise that could be I hope for you it's a good one but it could be a challenging surprise as well but anyway if you are in a relationship and you feel that things are not 100% clear they are going to become very, very clear to you, especially around the 18th of November, then you will really, really, the, the piece of information that you might be missing now, uh, let's say you're just dating, let's say you're just dating a person, but you feel, you know, intuitively, there's something going on there under the surface that I don't know about, that is a bit like, yes, it's uh, secretive, or I, I don't know what it is, but I do feel something, well, it's going to be revealed to you for better or for worse. But again, let's hope it's for better. It's actually always for better because this is has to do with transformation. 
So whatever it is that this person is going to reveal to you, whether they like it or not, it's going to help you to transform and to, um, to be your true self, basically. So all in all, it's a very, very good transit that is very much needed. Okay, so be open for new information coming your way uh, from a significant other. When you are single, it really can mean that you start a new relationship and it's a very smart person, you know, Mercury in your seventh house. It's a very smart person, very intelligent person. And, you know, you're, you're just reassessing what this person is all about and pieces will be revealed to you uh, throughout a couple of weeks. So very interesting when it comes to relationships. Another thing that is very, very light and that I really, really like for all the earth signs, and you're one of them, is the Venus in your fifth house in Virgo, trining um, Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn in your ninth house. And remember, this Mars retrograde was uh, not easy for you, specifically when it comes to your ninth house, uh, which is your... Um, the view that you have upon life and your opinion, your con what you believe in, that is a bit under pressure at the moment. Remember, I'm not going to talk all about the Mars retrograde anymore. If you want to know more, check out my video about Mars retrograde for Taurians. But what it is, is that, you know, it can cause some sleepless nights for you, that uh, because of your belief system is a bit under pressure at the moment. But what can help you is this Venus in a trine to uh, this energy in your ninth house. The fifth house is the house of you, your expression, your the things that you love to do. And the ninth house is learning. So um, you could be really having an opportunity here to study something new, to learn something new that you really, really like, that is related to the ninth house, which is different cultures, uh, different languages, different different things that you've always been wanting to do, maybe as a hobby even. It is really time for that. On another level, the fifth house is also your children. So it could mean that uh, your child is going to college or your, your child is going to study and you really enjoy that. And your child is doing very, very well. It's also Venus in the fifth house. Another thing, maybe you want to start your own business. The five, fifth house is projects. And when you want to start your own business, this is very, very good energy. Um, very good energy to start projects. And that they're going to be quite concrete and practical. So if you're thinking about that, it's certainly a good time. So um, all in all, not a bad month, dear Taurians. Although there is, of course, this pressure of Mars. Um, but that's only going to change next month and more about that next month. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.